Hello, my name is Michael from SalesPad, and this is a short video on the SalesPad Inventory Lookup Module. The Inventory Lookup Module allows users to search for items by any part of the item number or the item description. Um, it allows you to also maintain properties such as price levels, uh, item notes, and reorder points. Uh, you can also add new items into your inventory from this screen as well. Now we do have some security, actually a lot of security around our inventory lookup. So I'll direct your attention to our documentation that's available on our website uh, if you, in case you want to learn a little bit more about that. But for right now, we'll just want to make sure that we have our inventory lookup uh, checked here for the, uh, the group that we're looking at. Now we do have some settings as well around this, um, allowing us to search our third party items or the vendor items. So along with the search by item number and description, we do have these additional uh, search options over here to the right. Now if the match beginning box is checked, then the search results will only include items that start with any of the entered search criteria. Now if the search third party catalog box is checked, then it will also do a search into the third party or alternate items um, that have been set up and we also actually have our own tab to display uh, those third-party items. Um, same thing for our search vendor items. Uh, we have our individual tab for that, and we'll want to make sure, obviously, that the checkbox is checked when searching for those. Now, all of you'll also notice that uh, down below here we have all of these individual tabs, and they'll uh, give you a little bit more detailed information about the uh, item that we're looking up. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna look up all of my HD items in my inventory. And as you can see, when I start to highlight um, on an item in the grid, the tabs below will start to show uh, that item's information. Now for our item inventory tab, uh, what it's doing is it's showing all inventory sites that this uh, item has been assigned to. And we can see, um, you know, from the columns here, we can see if they've been allocated or are um, or back ordered on any, any documents. We can actually drill into them as well by clicking the hyperlink and seeing where those allocations um, are, are taking place and what documents those are on. Our items property tab will show you detailed information about the item setup. As you can see, it displays things um, like the description, the item class, and uh, item type. And it will also display over on the right-hand side, we can see that it has the quantities over here as well, um, along with the pricing that has been set up for this item. Our item sales tab will show you all documents that this item has been on. And I can see whether the document is open or closed, and who the customer was for it, and even drill into the individual documents if needed. The item purchases tab is a lot like the item sales, in that this is displaying all purchase orders that have been created for this item. And we, uh, we can drill into the, uh, the vendors or the purchase orders themselves from here. Now our item notes tab uh, will display any notes that have been put on the item card. And with proper setup, uh, we'll also uh, date and timestamp any notes that are added through this field. Our item serial or lot tracked numbers uh, this tab will display any individual uh, serial or lot numbers um, associated with this item, but as you can see, this item does not have any. The item analysis tab will display a graph and report of item sales over a selected time period. Now there is a SQL job that will need to be set up for this to work properly. Um, how to find out a little bit more about how to set that up, um, I'll direct you to our documentation on our website for, uh, for the inventory lookup. Now we can actually choose what our X and Y axes are uh, by these here. And I'll hit refresh. And as you can see, it will uh, change what's displayed in the, in the graph here. Um, you can also stagger or rotate the axes. And uh, of course, you can ex export these to Excel as well. Our item quick report tab uh, displays any quick reports that have been created and set up uh, through our security editor for this. The item user fields uh, will display any UDFs that have been created on the item master um, in the SalesPad user field editor uh, module. 
Our item substitutions tab will display any substitute items that have been set up in GP for the selected item. Our item sales options, uh, this tab will display options and option details uh, that have been set up for the selected item. New options can also be set up here and I'll refer you to the sales pad item sales option document that's available on our website for a little bit more information about this. Our item inventory analysis tab will display information by warehouse about sales, purchases, and averages for the selected item. To change the number of months displayed and uh, we can do that just by right clicking and as you can see now I have the options of how far I want to look out. Our item kit components tab will allow you to view uh, the components for a kit item if indeed the item is a kit that we have highlighted. The item serial attributes tab displays uh, available serial numbers for the selected item and any individual uh, serial attributes stored within SalesPad, uh, the custom table, um, and that are specific to this item. In our inventory matrix view, um, this tab displays any matrices created for the selected item, and with proper security, uh, you can also create a new matrix on the item by clicking the matrix uh, setup button. So thank you for watching this video. We have many more available on our website at www.salespad.net.